Imagine you're walking through a desert. The sun blazes over your head, your lips crack, and your mouth feels dry. And this is undeniable that you're feeling thirsty, right? Across the tree of life, being great or small, from an elephant to an invincible tiny micro, we all feel thirst from an outer cell to the innermost cell in our body. So thirst is more than biology, uh, we can kind of say that's a metaphor, right? Our body loses water in several ways, it can be obvious sometimes and sometimes it can be subtle. For example, our kidneys filter blood uh, and excrete water via urine. And also during exercise, heat or stress, our bodies sweat. These two are the major ways of obvious water loss. Insensible loss is when we cannot directly see the water leave the body, right? Uh, like evaporation through the skin. Water continuously evaporates from the skin, but we cannot see it. Another way of insensible loss is respiratory water loss. Every time we exhale, we release warm and moist air. Despite the fact we cannot see the water, but it is a constant water expenditure. Uh, water is also lost in some other ways, although they are not a primary roots, uh, like when forming feces or forming stool. Even though the colon reabsorbs much of water, but yet some water remains in the feces. Some small amounts of water are lost by tear production and the constant secretion of saliva. But they are not that much considerable in compared with other ways. Now here is the big question. How does our body feel and know that we are thirsty and our body needs water? The first step happens in a structure in our brain called hypothalamus, an organ in the ventral brain above the pituitary gland below the thalamus. If you are looking at the side view of the brain in this picture, it's deep in the center behind the eyes. There are some receptors, some small receptors in the hypothalamus called osmoreceptors. And what their function? When we lose water, the blood will become more concentrated. And this results into increased blood osmolarity. Or in a simple word, we can say that blood becomes salty and thick. Osmoreceptors sense the increase in the plasma osmolarity. They are very sensitive and respond even to one or two percent increase in osmolarity. Actually, the way they are sensing the increased osmolarity is shrinkage. There is another pathway that our body senses the thirst when battery receptors in the aortic arch and carotid sinus detect low blood volume. Finally, these battery receptors indirectly affect the thirst center. This is when hypothalamus flips a switch and says, hey buddy, you are thirsty. A deep primal urge in our conscious mind forces us to drink something, anything, any liquid, because the cells are drying out. Now let's get back to our shrunken osmoreceptors. At the same time you are feeling thirsty, shrinkage causes these osmoreceptors to fire and sends signals to more nerve cells down to the pituitary gland. Uh, actually, these signals conduct to the posterior part of the pituitary gland via a small stalk that connects the hypothalamus to pituitary gland to stimulate the release of a hormone called antidiuretic hormone or ADH, which is stored in the nerve ending in some tiny vesicles. When these ADH hormones burst into the bloodstream, they are being transported directly to the kidneys. When ADH reaches the kidney, it affects nephrons, or uh, just that those functional units of kidney. It increases the water permeability of some parts of these nephrons, which are late distal tubules, cortical collecting tubules, and collecting ducts. This increased permeability causes increase in water reabsorption uh, and excretion of a small volume of concentrated urine. That is why when our body is dehydrated, the urine color becomes darker. The opposite sequence of these events happen when the extracellular fluid becomes too dilute. For example, if you drink too much water, our body's osmolarity decreases, so less ADH is formed. The renal tubule decreases their permeability to water, so less water is reabsorbed, and a large volume of dilute urine is formed. 